In this video, we'll be talking about how to handle 32-bit data types in ProSoft Technology Communication Modules. This is intended as a supplement for our lineup of product training videos that walk you through the full configuration process. 32-bit data is comprised of two different data types, floats and double integers. Float values are any real number with a decimal point that is represented by a 32-bit register. Double integers, or dints, are simply two 16-bit values stacked together, also represented by 32 bits. This presents a small complication since the internal memory of ProSoft modules are comprised of 16-bit word addresses. The solution is to break the 32-bit value into two separate 16-bit registers and then recombine them back into a 32-bit real value. This is accomplished by copying the two 16-bit registers to one real tag in the Rockwell processor. Now let's see how a float value is handled in a typical application. The Modbus master will transmit a command to a specific slave to read some values. In this case, two 32-bit float values. Because our memory does not support 32-bit data types, the float values are broken up into two consecutive 16-bit integers each. Keep this in mind when you're mapping your data. The first float will occupy the first two addresses in my read data. The second float will be placed in the next two addresses. These four integers will be returned to the master and placed into the specified addresses in its database. To see the data as the floating point values they started out as, they must be copied into two tags with a real data type. This is accomplished in RSLogix 5000 by adding a copy instruction to the main routine ladder. This will take the four 16-bit words we read from the slave device and combine them back into two 32-bit floating point numbers. If you're using Modbus and you get to this point and your data does not look right, it may be because the two 16-bit registers were not recombined in the correct order. Different industrial vendors order them differently. In this case, you would simply swap the word order to correct them. In ProSoft Configuration Builder, when setting up your client commands, you can use the swap code function to swap words, bytes, or words and bytes. Or if you're using RSLogix 5000, when you set up the command, simply enter 1 for swap. And that's how you handle 32-bit data types in ProSoft Technology communication modules. We also have short supplementary training videos on how data is stored and organized in the internal memory of our modules and how to understand bit-level addressing. If you have any other questions, you can contact our technical support. Thank you for watching.